So what's unique about your mom? She went back to school at age 45, became a respiratory therapist. She was born in Germany, but she's not a Nazi. That's good. What? Is it? What? What? And that oop. My booty is popping. Nothing. And that oop. So uh, I'm about to turn 45. What? In less than three days. Where did the time go? You're old. It's Thursday. And I took Friday off. So we can engage in hijinks and shenanigans that hopefully involve karaoke. <laughs> um, but uh, so I show up to work today and I see a bunch of birthday cakes. Can we restart? Yeah. And that oop. So I'm turning 45 in less than three days. It's my birthday. Uh, and... Where did the fucking time go? <laughs> um, so, and today's Thursday, and I took Friday off so we can engage in hijinks and shenanigans tomorrow on Friday. I took it off work, too. Correct. Hopefully, uh, it involves karaoke and uh, drunkenness. But, frivolity. Uh, frivolity. But... Uh, so today's Thursday. It's my last day at work, and I took the work. I took the day off like a month ago for my birthday. Uh, and so I show up, and there was a huge tray of birthday cupcakes at my work. I said happy birthday. I was like, oh, this is fun. This is for me. This is for me, and I, I dig it. Although I, I don't enjoy the production the public acknowledgement <laughs> of birthdays or anything or that we're anything but drones in our jobs uh public celebration at the workplace i'm not a big fan of i completely agree yeah <clears throat> it's just it's it's awkward the last time we had a public uh celebration one of our one of my coworkers was leaving and there was food, and he brought his daughter, and after about 10 seconds, we just all kind of stood around <laughs> and stared at each other. It's, just, it's very odd. Like, I, I don't want anything. I don't want any. I don't want attention. I don't want acknowledgement. I just want to go about my day <laughs> and get through it. Uh, but I show up today, and I'm like, oh, there's a bunch of birthday cakes. Birthday cupcakes. Yes. And that's for me. I think that's nice. Um, so my boss, I, he's coming and going. I'm coming and going. We don't cross paths. So no one specifically tells me that these cupcakes are for me. Throughout the day, you sent me a picture of these cupcakes in the morning. Yeah. And then throughout the day, I kept saying, have they sung to you yet? Right. Have they, has anyone acknowledged, said anything? Right. And I kept saying no, because we're out and about. We're, we don't have traditionally cubicle office jobs. Right. Uh, so he might be busy. I'm busy. I'm out and about. We haven't crossed paths. No one has specifically told me these cupcakes are for me, but I assume they're for me because it's my birthday. Obviously. And I'm uh, I'm about to be a young 45. 45 is the new 26 is what they say. Plus... Uh, we have a calendar on the wall in our main work area, and it's a uh, it's a puppy calendar. And by about February, I realized I should have bought a cat calendar. So oh, every- you so you bought this calendar that's hanging up at your work? Correct. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I contribute. <laughs> How nice! <laughs> this is my this is my this is my, uh, this is my uh, contribution to the workplace. Uh, I bought a puppy calendar and very quickly I was like, oh, I should have bought a cat calendar. Yeah, you're a cat man. Yeah. What's up with that, honey? And every day I look at these puppies and I'm like, fuck you, puppy. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck you, puppy. No. 
Uh, but I'm like, ah, oh, the cat I would be so much more in love with than these stupid puppies. There's, there's puppies are so easy. They're they're so easily winnable. Oh yeah. They're they're like whores. <laughs> uh, but uh, so in September I put my birthday on there just for fun. And uh, my coworker Pauli, his birthday is also in September. It was it was actually on Tuesday, so I wrote his birthday. I wrote my birthday. Just uh, it's, it's not anything formal, uh, but I just, I just thought it'd be kind of cute, kind of fun to acknowledge our birthdays. Super cute. And and my boss has our vital information, like. He knows where I live. <laughs> he knows what car I drive. Just like Mark Zuckerberg. Right. He knows my social security number. And he knows my birthday too. Right. And he knows you have tomorrow off for right. your birthday. Right. So I'm like, okay, these birthday cupcakes for me. I text you. I'm like, I think these are for me. <laughs> these are for me. And uh, you're like, well, may- make it a fish <laughs> Well, what did you keep saying to me? I kept saying, have they sung to you yet? Have they sung has, to you? Has there been a celebration? And see, an acknowledgement? The singing, I was like, well, we're a bunch <laughs> of bros. We're a bunch of manly men. The singing, I, I thought you were joking. <laughs> and you were joking, like, yeah. what, 15%, 40%? Yeah. I, I thought there would be some, like, hey, everybody, it's some Vince's acknowledgement. birthday. Yeah. Have a cupcake. Yeah. And so, uh, day goes about... And then you're like, go fucking talk to your boss. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. You didn't say the F word? I'm refuting this version of the tale. Yeah. But the third time you're like, go get confirmation. (laughs) You you texted me and said, I should go thank my boss. Yes. And I said, yeah, go do that. Yeah. That's how how it went down, honey. Yeah. And that was a mistake on my part. (laughs) That was a mistake on your part. That's like, hmm... I should go. Uh, I should go uh, become a bosun on a yacht, and that's you saying, "Yeah, go become a bosun on a yacht." And then I find myself stranded in Australia with ten dollars in my pocket. Um, so I see my boss. I go into his office. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be like, "Hey, man, I'm gonna say thanks for these cupcakes. Like, thank you. You're a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm a good person." I'm going to say thanks for these cupcakes. I see my boss. Uh, he's on a, a phone call. It was very important. So I uh, traipse by and I'm like, okay, he's on a phone call. Yes, Lennox. And uh, oop. They should be in there. That's where we keep the art supplies. So I see my boss. He's on a very important call. And I'm like, okay, I pass by him. Come back. Um, and we pass each other in the hall. In the halls. And he said, oh, did you need me earlier? Because he saw me come into his office, seemingly a very important, ur- urgent matter. And I go, Danny, are those birthday cupcakes for yours truly? And he goes, oh, is it your birthday today? And I think, oh, we're we're gallivanting, honey. We're, oh, is it your birthday? Hee <laughs> hee, of course it's your birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Vince. You're the greatest. Thank you for never calling in sick like <laughs> your other co-workers all the time. But of course it's your birthday. We're just kidding around. But he goes, oh, is it your birthday? And I said, and I start, my, my cheeks turn rosy red, honey. I say, is it my red? You're so funny. You're funny. You're funny, you funny guy. <laughs> and I said, well, technically, Danny, and you have the her vital information. You have all my social graph. You can serve me ads on Facebook that are relevant and that I'll buy products of. But I said, well, technically, my birthday is Sunday. But you know I'm off Friday. Today's Thursday. I, you got these cupcakes for me. And I said, uh, I said, oh, well, uh, my birthday is Sunday, but today is my last day at work until my birthday. And he goes, oh, really? Oh, he said, and then he said, 
today's my birthday. And I go, oh, cool. Me, Pao Lee, Danny Ernst, Mario Lopez. Let's fucking go clubbing. Let's go <laughs> to the strip club. Let's get some hookers and cocaine. It's all of our birthdays. Let's fucking go nuts. And he goes, uh, no, it's, it's my birthday today. And I was like, oh, cool, Danny. Well, me and you. It's like, my wife brought those cupcakes in. And I go, oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Cringe. So they're not for me, Danny. Uh, oh. Cringe, awkward. You, can't <laughs> go, you can never go back. I can never show my face around these parts. Uh, I blame you, honey. Okay. For uh, <laughs> making me <laughs> confront Danny Ernst about these cupcakes uh but uh my um my uh, affableness my genialness kicks in and i said he he ha ha <laughs> and my cheeks are still rosy and from I have, embarrassment no <laughs> but everything there's so many emotions everything everything was swirling uh but i have a dimple in my right cheek as you know honey that's why you fell in love with me but i uh turned on my dimple and my right <laughs> cheek <laughs> And I said, well, happy 26th birthday to you, Danny Ernst. He's a little older than 26. And then I turned around and said, and happy 21st birthday to me. Because I'm younger than him, obviously. Uh, Way to take control of the situation. Right. Right. I owned it, yo. <laughs> I pwned it. I owned it. And, uh, and, and we both had a laugh, a little jovial guffaw. <laughs> in the in the hallways and that was that it was embarrassing but in the end it doesn't really matter <laughs> it's, it's just silly and dumb he's probably forgotten all about it honey yeah. is he has he <laughs> or he's at home telling his family the story right now <laughs> like, this moron at work <laughs> thought it was his birthday um but uh yeah that's my uh cupcake incident <laughs> story and it was embarrassing. But on the other hand, I didn't care. <laughs> because I show up for work and I don't call in sick like some of my other co-workers. <laughs> and uh, oop. So, I got a new co-worker uh, this week. And let's call him Harry. Harry. <laughs> don't we call the other guy Harry? Yeah. The other Harry killed the hummingbird. <laughs> Hopefully not on purpose. <laughs> it's... It's homicide versus manslaughter. Right. Uh, go listen to the pod. <laughs> um, but I got a new coworker this week. And during the hiring process, I told my boss who was doing the interviews, I said, just make sure he's not cuter than Pao Lee. That's, that's all I require. Um, so he's come on board. And uh, what are the three... Uh, factors I, I i compare myself to every man on the planet honey in my is, vicinity is he more handsome than me yes does he lift more than me correct is he richer than me correct you not me yes <laughs> uh he's not more handsome than me no wait it's handsome uh money and boom boom what yeah is he better in the bedroom than me oh is it yeah wow yeah well i guess lifting handsomeness that kind of go hand in hand. those are together those are like one thing right correct okay so harry is not more handsome than me uh oh yeah and... is he a better lover than me that's yes. what you say <laughs> he doesn't make more money than me because he's just come on board uh, he makes the same as you or less he makes less possibly. okay yeah a little less um not as much as uh, Grandma Tian would like me to make. Uh, and then uh, the boom boom. Uh, no. He, he's not a better lover than me, honey. Can I ask how you determine if a man is a better lover than I, you? I know. I sense. It's, it's innate. Is there like a way they carry themselves? Is there an aura? It's everything all combined. Instantly. Oh. Within two seconds. Do you have any men in that we know that I know that 
I can surmise their bedroom prowess, honey. Sure. Anyone you could think of. <laughs> Mario Lopez. That I want to bring up right now, right here. No. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a good lover. Um, oh, yeah. Mario Lopez. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, A.C. Slater and Jesse <laughs> Spano. Honey. Um, but uh, so right away. So the previous weekend, I shaved my chest to get ready for my birthday. <laughs> Which sounds odd. Um, but Harry had the first his first. Uh, meeting with me he sees me with a shaved chest so I'm like oh is he gonna have the expectation that I I have a shaved chest how much of your chest is exposed at work I wear wife beaters honey I wear tank tops oh hi Lennox ladies and gentlemen and uh, oop uh, so I have a smooth chest right now so is he going to expect a smooth chest? I mean, in two to three weeks when I'm unshaved and like the Geico caveman, is he going to be like, oh, I, he's changed. I didn't enter this relationship knowing he'd be a hairy, hairy werewolf. This isn't what he signed up for. Sasquatch monster. What am I doing here? I'm going to quit. Um, and... Like training a new employee is always fun because there's, there's like, you teach them how to do it by the book. This is the way we're supposed to do it. And then you say, this is how we really do it. And that, oop. Someone's sitting at Debbie's dining room table. What? On a laptop. All the lights are off. But I can see them and the laptop. Hmm. And uh, oop. Uh, another thing I've been thinking of is we have a coworker group text that we're always uh, kibitzing about, complaining, whining, but also like I'll send a picture of our cat. <laughs> it's mostly fi- pictures of food you guys are eating and yeah. beer that yeah. you're drinking. Yeah, it's nonsense. It's fun, but I thought, at what point do we add Harry? to the group text because the group text can get ribald mm. and one specific co-worker you know who i'm talking about honey he is very uh open with his sexual desires <laughs> and fantasies and uh past escapades he's had with particular ladies in fresno let's say uh <laughs> but so w- at what point do we add harry who we've known for a couple days when do we add him? Mm. When? What is the protocol there? I think those currently in the group text, you all need to have a meeting. Yes. And you need to decide, like, what are the bylaws yeah. of this friendship group? Uh, yeah. What are the standards? Because previously, one coworker wasn't in the group text. And I, I just started a new one. I said, instead of adding... I said, hey, here's a new one. So we're going to all uh, kibitz and uh, participate instead of adding to the old one. Because I felt like the old one was uh, was uh, like someone else's, uh, like Dr. Dre's old track. And I was like, well, here's some uh, Kendrick Lamar I'm going to add. And it's time to move on to a new era in the hippity hop. So... Should I start a whole new one with Harry? And at what point? Because some of the things uh, this particular coworker says <laughs> like, will shock you. And you're just like, wow, you, you have a family, sir? <laughs> you have sons and daughters? Um, yeah, the uh, being exposed to how perverted your coworkers are. Uh well, that, it's, a, it's a slow ease them into it. That particular guy who's very uh, open with his promiscuity. Yes. And conquests. Yes. He's very verbal about it at work, right? Mm-hmm. So it's only a matter of time before the new guy is exposed uh-huh. to the true side. So wait to the IRL. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Talking about uh, having. <laughs> fornication with a lady we uh, work with and then bring him into the 
Now here's phase two. Yeah. Getting to know this. It's like a soft launch. Yeah. And then once he's been exposed in Ah. real life. Because in real life, you've got the charm as well as the debauchery. Yeah. And then after that, he's like, okay. Yeah. Well, this guy is uh, questionable but lovable. Yeah. And then you can move it to the outside of work arena. And depending on his reaction, if he's kind of nonchalant, it's like, okay, we can bring him into the group text. And then if he uh, screenshots something for HR, (laughs) uh, we can trust that he he won't uh, call human resources. You got to gauge his reaction in real life before you bring him into the circle of trust. Right. Um, Today, uh, Harry. New Harry? Correct. New Harry, not the hummingbird killer Harry, the new Harry. He he cursed around me. And so we're joking around about the whole birthday thing. And I said, haha, I'm 25 years old. Happy birthday to me. And he said, uh, and he said, that's bullshit. <gasps> and I was like, Harry, I have known you not, not even 96 hours and you're already cursing. Like it, it should be cursing. It should be being exposed to the, uh, perverted <laughs> co-worker and then you, we bring you into the group text and then you could start saying uh shit and the f word around me like i, mm. I, was, I was just like are, are we that close are we friends to start cursing around each other because i haven't cursed around him mm. I've, I've kept it pg or pg 13 uh, so when he cursed around me, I was like, it's, it's a little, I'm not ready. Mm. I'm not ready to go that far. I'm going to button up my bra <laughs> and walk out of your apartment. Um, do you have a current work lunch friend, honey, that you go to lunch with? No. A I'm, coworker? I'm a loner at work. But you have. Oh yeah, I have in the past. Yeah. But for the last few years, I, I'm very friendly and i talk to my coworkers. we chat all day long yeah but at lunchtime i go my own way everyone's scary we all all go our own ways exactly (laughs) agree agree 100 percent um i i like to go into uh the dark corners behind our lockers and uh because i that's my time to catch up with you Mm -hmm. and and communicate with you and so to uh Talk about uh, this person, somewhat my coworkers' <laughs> sexual perverted <laughs> fantasies, or to catch up. And I, I, I like my job and I like my coworkers, um, but I feel like lunchtime is time to just recede and do my own thing. And I couldn't imagine talking more to them when we already chat enough. Uh, and, and lunchtime is my time to be with you and. Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Um, so, yeah, we, we did the thing where it was like, it's it's it's, it's like being in high school <laughs> and uh, eating lunch. You, you don't know where to eat Ugh. lunch or who to eat lunch with. Right. And so uh, it was like, uh, Harry, uh, I go over here. This person goes over there. That person goes over there. And you can do whatever you want. You can hang out, I guess. Um, but it's it's awkward at first. But eh, there's not many expectations. Um, and thankfully, I'm still by myself. Behind the lockers in the dark like Smeagol. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't have a lunch work friend. I haven't had one for a long time. And I'm cool with that. Like there's like like you said, there's enough chatting going on. Yeah, you don't need to extend the chatting. Right. I I like to. Uh, I'm okay with chatting, but I really like it. Kind of wears me out. Like the chit chat at work. And yeah. Like I need I need to like be alone. Yeah. I need to recharge. Need a break. <laughs> exactly. A little R and R. And I look forward to your lunch breaks. Yeah. Like, I know approximately when you're on break, and I'm like... Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. So I'm like, okay. 1130. I start to kind of expect, like, okay, the texting is going to... Because you text me all day long. Oh, right, But right. at lunchtime, it really 
Right. Like it's like a stream of texting. Right. So I anticipate that. Uh, and I kind of expect, and I look forward to it. <laughs> it's about 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. And then you take off again. Nonstop hot takes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, uh, my new coworker, good guy, cursed too early. Mm. Um, we're still waiting to really reveal mm. the, the, uh, sociopath pervert that is the other co-worker and uh yeah i i i appreciated the birthday cupcakes even though they weren't for me <laughs> by the way i saw i saw danny's wife earlier just around about. Oh. she comes in every once in a while oh, does okay. she yeah nice uh and i was like oh there's danny's wife whatever uh but the, well you know what i thought honey I thought, why didn't my wife, you, bring <laughs> cupcakes to the workplace? After you told me this story of what went down, yeah, I did think, oh, I should have brought something for your birthday. Yeah. But I was working today. Yeah. We're both off tomorrow. Yeah. But last year, I brought you guys, you and your coworkers, Christmas goodies. For Christmas, yeah. I might do that again. You took a picture. I thought when I worked at Platt, you brought Lennox and Luna. I did. We came for a tour. And you guys were kind of like wide-eyed, like, what's going on here? And I said, this is the wire cutting machine. Um, but, uh, yeah, you've been to my workplace, which is more than I can say to all my current coworkers. None of them have brought their, brought their wives. Oh. Um, I'll but, come again. I'll come bring Christmas treats or... Yeah. Something. I'll yeah. redeem myself. Actually, another co-worker in an, a different department right next to us uh, brought his kids today. Super cute. Aww. I know. They were tiny. And they just stared at us. And we <laughs> stared at them. <laughs> and But that's kind of like what happens. They're like, oh, we don't belong here. And, and you look at them like, <laughs> you don't belong here. Um, I remember going to my mom's work. And it was just like... You're, uh, uh, my mom introducing me to her coworkers, uh, going through the halls and the various offices. Was that at the bank? Yes. Uh-huh. San Diego Trust and Savings before, I forgot who bought it. And then another Wells Fargo bought it. First interstate. Um, but, uh, you, you kind of, uh, you're, you're kind of like, a. uh, a trophy or something. Like they bring you around, like, look at my child, and you, and you kind of smile and you glad hand and you do the uh, parade wave, like, Hello, I'm Tian Kofferman's offspring, and I'm nice and I was raised well. She raised me. <laughs> Anyways, alrighty, well, are we done, honey? Yes. Her. What are we gonna do now? I wish I had a cupcake. Well, when I saw those cupcakes, I thought, oh, yeah, you didn't make cupcakes. I made little sugar cup thingies with frosting in them today. Yeah. So have at it, honey. You intended to make them with Luna. Or Luna wanted to make them yesterday. Yeah. And I said, no, it's too late. Yeah. And then today you were working from home and you thought, I feel like baking. Yeah. So I didn't wait for Luna. I just did it by myself. Yeah. Are they good? They're good. good. What is the, is it white cake or corn bread? It's a, it's a sugar cookie. Yes. <laughs> it's a sugar cookie. Yes. And then there's a wee bit of like vanilla frosting with sprinkles on top. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, well that's the end of the program. It's been fun, but not really. Let's all try a little harder next time. We're ending on a whimper, honey. Will we start on a bang? Oh dear. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, review, and rate, or don't. (laughs) Are you okay? Sure. Do whatever you want. You're a grown-up. Make your own decisions. Do what's best for your family. I was on a Zoom over two hours ago. Oh, yeah. Drinking beer. (laughs) It's been a long time. It's been a long day. I was hoodwinked about my birthday. I have all sorts of emotions going on. I'm going to put you to bed after this, honey. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, review, rate. And share or don't do whatever you want. You're a grown-up. Make your decisions. Do what's best for your family. Please be sure to use our promo code for... 
<sighs> athletic greens. <laughs> we don't have a promo code for athletic greens. Goodbye, my podcast friends. What's up? Chewy.com. Ah. Where today we got a delivery oh because I ordered our cat Frankie some, uh, essentially some fake nails. <sighs> They're rainbow glitter color. Fake right. nails. They come with adhesive. Yeah. Just like at the nail salon. Yeah. Because he's been scratching the shit out of our carpet. Yeah. In the middle of the night while we're sleeping. Yeah. And you think these fake nails... You're That's, gonna be a pedicurist or a manicurist. Yeah, I'm gonna channel the peony ladies. Yeah. They claim to protect your furniture and carpet. I cannot wait. I have to wait till he's sleeping though, so we gotta wait till later. Uh, to apply those. <laughs> yes. <nails>? Okay. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll come back with an update. Oh dear. Chewy.com, oh. friends. Oh, Frankie things. Oh. <laughs> Kit and caboodle. Um Goodbye, my podcast friends. We hope you have a good day today and tomorrow. And sure, uh, I may have revealed that I have a sexually perverted deviant social worker, but I'm still a good person and we're still good people who I love, by the way. I adore him. He's endlessly entertaining. He's the best podcaster who doesn't have a podcast. (laughs) Like every day I show up, what do you got today? Well, there was a girl in Fresno. Yeah. And she was on all fours and well, oh, dear. Go from there. But I'm still a good person. We're still good people. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. We hope you have a wonderful day. Sasha. Oh, boy.